Hey, this is Karmavac. Just thought I'd do a quick video here discussing kind of this concept I've had, and it's a concept I've had for a long while now. For you know, many different games, I've I've wished they would have implemented something like this, and some have sort of that I've seen, but not really. And this concept is what I like to call a fluid map, and what I mean by that is like a really fluid map, not just the way the thing's laid out, but a map that's actually fluid. So. What do I mean by this? Well, let's say there's a map, right? And uh, in the U Overwatch universe, this could easily be like a subway map, for instance, uh, in a city that's somewhat run down or, or war torn or something like that. But let's say there's a subway map. But on this subway map, there is a train. And this train can either be consistently moving or stop at certain points, and there could be more than one train. Really, the details don't matter too much. But let's say there's a train that is moving on this map and it's a somewhat large train you know you can fit a few people on there easily and maybe it's long maybe it's not depends really on how however blizzard would like to implement this if ever something like this were to be implemented but let's say there's a train or two and it goes through some of the more strategical points on the map be it uh, you know this would probably be something like a control point map and so the control points can be accessed by way of this train or maybe not very well accessible otherwise. So if you're not using the train, it might not be very easy to cap these points or even get to them at all. So this would make the players have to really take advantage of these trains and the timing of the trains that they're going around and work as a team together in order to control these trains. And that way they can get the best positioning at the right timing, if that makes any sense, right? So this adds kind of another level of strategy to gameplay, and I think overall would make gameplay more interesting, as well as affect replayability a lot. Now this could be just like I mentioned, where you hop off the train on occasion to go and take the control points that this train weaves around. Or let's say that the train itself is the control point and the game is in somewhat of this King of the Hill type mode, where the team that has controlled the train predominantly throughout the game wins the match. Now, this is a little bit different than the previous idea because the, the certain aspects of the map would have to be different in order to make this feasible. You know, having a train constantly moving like that as the control point might make it too difficult for the team that didn't initially capture it to actually take it. So there would have to be probably for this type of scenario points at which the train stops and or instead points on the map where the other team can set up to ambush the train. So I mentioned that this is basically going in a loop around the map or in a, in a general path and maybe the train, maybe let's make it dynamic. Maybe there's a switch on the train that say the controlling team can throw and that diverts the train to a different track uh, at certain points on the map. But let's throw that out and change it up a little bit. Let's say this train is on a map that's just really long. So the train is going to be just, you know, once it starts, it's going to start moving down the track and the map's just long. And initially, maybe you have to capture the train. So the train is in the middle. You spawn here. The other team spawns over here. And whoever captures the train is in the train now and it starts to move. And now your team needs to take that train. For this scenario, though, the train would have to probably stop or significantly slow down at certain areas. That way it's actually capturable. And whenever this train, you know, either goes to a stop or slows down, it'll trigger something in the map that says, oh, I need to spawn the people who die ahead of the train now or at the station. And then maybe implement as well a system for people who get left behind because this undoubtedly will happen. So there needs to be some sort of mechanic for these people to where they can uh, somehow jump up to the next point, the next station, after a certain amount of time or after the train is so far ahead of them. But this doesn't need to be trains, you know, it could really be anything. Overwatch is a sci-fi universe, so you could almost feasibly have it be anything. Let's say uh, you're up in a mountain somewhere in China, and the only way to access certain parts of the map is with like this big wire tram thing that people have to activate and use. And, you know, there could be more than one of these, and, and you know, they could be huge or smaller. It doesn't even need to be wire trams, really. And I know there's some guy out there who's going to be like, uh, well, Korvac, you can't do this because, uh, well, there's just too many chokes here and, uh, well, you know, they, they fight over this more than they need to and they cut up here longer than they need to. Well, you know, we didn't get into too much detail, really. It could be implemented in, you know, many different ways. The concept of a fluid map, I think, is very sound. And one of these ways that it could be implemented, I'm sure, will work just fine. And there are, you know, ways you can iron this stuff out so that these things don't become issues.
you know it could be it could be bridges on the map that can be raised or lowered depending on you know whatever it could be different types of transportation to different parts of the map that you'd have to use it could be you know even switches and things on the map that uh, say you capture a control point here or you have the option to take this one instead changes the way the map flows out maybe certain parts of the map become inaccessible depending on which control point you take so this fluid map idea can be implemented in so many different ways i think it's almost foolish not to have at least one map that explores this idea because i think it's really cool and i've really not seen other fps games explore this concept very well and like i mentioned i you know i just want to reiterate that this can affect team cohesion a lot because you know you have to focus on things like timing more and so there's there's more focus on strategies you can do on the map and it also affects i think replayability a lot and in general i think it could make the experience funner and I'm sure with the creative people that Overwatch has on its team, that Blizzard could easily explore brand new game modes that haven't really been seen in FPS games before, you know, outside of your traditional payload and capture point and King of the Hill type stuff that they already have. You know, they could easily explore completely new game modes that haven't been seen before because the concept of a fluid map has really not been explored or explored very well that I've seen in other FPS games ever before. Now, if I had to guess, I'm sure there are some games out there with maps that could be considered fluid. And I was doing the, you know, air quotes with my fingers because it's not really fluid the way I see it. And I'm sure, you know, everyone has different opinions. But the way I'm talking about it, I have not really seen in other games. So it, I, if I had to guess, I think it's either really not something that's been done before or it's somewhat of a rare thing to see for an FPS game, which, you know, is what we're focusing on here since Overwatch is an FPS game. We're talking about that specifically, more or less. So I would really like to see Blizzard implement some sort of fluid map, maybe like what I've been describing. Maybe they have different ideas about this concept, but I would really like to see a fluid map and maybe not just a fluid map, maybe a fluid and dynamic map where the players themselves can do things to the map that really affect the outcome of the game and the gameplay itself. So this video has rambled on for about 7 minutes and 30 seconds now, and I intended to cover uh, certain other things with this video like custom games and uh, servers that are hosted with Blizzards so like, um, for example, StarCraft 2 has an arcade where people have custom games, but there's all, they're all hosted by Blizzard, but them themselves are completely different than the normal StarCraft. And I, I think I'll get into those in a different video, and there are a few other bullets I wanted to cover, but this is already becoming you know, long enough. I don't want to go too far over eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much wrap this up here. I'm Comervac. Thanks for watching and contemplating this idea of a fluid and dynamic map with me. Go ahead and like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. I, you know, frankly don't care too much. And uh, then, you know, maybe comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about this and what your ideas are. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and check out the rest of the stuff on my channel. And with that, I'll be signing off. Thanks for watching.